Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. A very good morning to you. How are you doing? Don't you just love Wally in the morning? He just brightens up your day. And I promise I will share that video on social media just so you see, like, if his skills are anything, like, you know. But anyway, you guys will decide. Right now, though, I don't know if you knew anything about personality dating, that your personality in dating, I don't know if it's different. Like, this is, ever heard of a personality coach? What do they even do? Well, we are answering all those questions right now. It's time for Relationship Circle. Welcome to the show, Mark. Thank you for having me, Mwekali. And I will not try and pretend I know <laughs> anything. <laughs> I'll just be here okay. asking the questions. Well, please introduce yourself. All right. Maybe personality coach is not it, but right. you know. Uh, my name is Mark Mbogwa. Yeah. I'm a certified personality coach. Okay. What that career entails is to help someone cultivate their capacity, uh, have a broader or a wider scope of what they're gifted at. So it's about, about gifts, callings, and also just personal excellence in general. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and why did you choose this path? What, what did it call to you? Why? Surprisingly, Mwikali, um, yes. this, this is a God-given gift. Okay. Uh, uh, it actually trace it around um, prophecy and discernment. It's a God-given gift that did I was born Did you say prophecy? With. Yes, I did. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> because strangely, I'm also a Christian. Okay. Uh, I love um, bringing that into light because sometimes people confuse this kind of gift. Okay. Sometimes they think it has to do with something a little bit strange because mm. when you really tell someone about themselves, you've never met them, seen them, and through their handwriting, through the way they walk and talk, and tell them about who they are. Sometimes, most people are not ready for this. Okay. So the reason why I point that out because it's a God-given gift. Okay. Most Christians, maybe just to answer that wholesomely, are afraid to talk about spiritual gifts. Mm, okay. But it's comfortable to speak about other things. So apart from that, I also gained knowledge uh, around uh, that space to get to know more about personality. So it broadened up and I chose this because um, it, it is also something that tells someone about who they are. Mm. Maybe to also your viewers this okay. morning, we give about 75% every day and we don't know. Even through how I sit, Mwikali, yeah. I can tell six careers. You can do what? Tell six careers through how one sits. Oh, These really? are things that I want to bring out and thank you for giving me a chance today. So the reason why I focused in dating is yes. because one of the areas where your self-esteem can shatter into so many spaces is actually the in the relationship space. That is true. And most people don't know about that. Mm. So the reason about personality dating is because dating never stops, mm -hmm. whether before marriage or after marriage. Yeah. And then personality is inborn, God-given. It's innate. Yes. So personality dating is about knowing how someone behaves, why you're someone's crush, through how you handle a rapper, which I came with some of the sweets today. Uh, and it's not just sweets, it's in any wrapped item. So we're going to be really discussing a lot today. Let me tell you guys. So I put myself on the line today. <laughs> And so my producer was like, so Mikali, you know, he's going to just dissect <laughs> <laughs> your personality on air. So you'll be writing the way you're sitting. I've been very nervous. Oh, wow. I, I told her when you were in studio before, like the conversation and I was talking to Dr. Wale. Yes. I was just like, is he looking at the way I'm standing? Is he looking at the way I'm walking? Is he monitoring how I'm speaking? Oh, my God. I, so I was just like, and then I like the fact that you were facing the other the way. The other way. <laughs> you made I it didn't comfortable. Want, uh, yes. You made it comfortable for me. But in all these little things that we do in our day-to-day -day lives, yes. you pick up a lot. Absolutely. 75%. 75%. And that translates to how we sit, how we talk, and even how we handle a rap. Let okay. me just use this for, for demonstration okay. purposes. So. Um, the reason why I chose this option is because I can do thre this through m many other avenues, like I said, handwriting. Okay. But I picked up this because this is something in our normal behavior. Sometimes when you have this wrapped item given to you and how you handle a wrapper. So I came with four just to demonstrate four kinds of how people uh, handle their wrapper. There are okay. those who meticulously uh, unwrap the item like I did. Yeah. They take their time, observe, then unwrap it as it was wrapped. So we have a very detailed personality. Okay. I think for the first five minutes, I want ladies to concentrate because we are here. <laughs> ladies, then I'll are talk you to the men. <laughs> we are here. We are here, ladies. This yes. is for you. <laughs> this is for you okay. because you need to know why you're someone's crush. Okay. We are the men who are making moves to you, and yes. sometimes you may not know 
why you're someone's crush or why you're our crush. Okay. And you're giving 75% through how you walk, you talk, you excite us from a distance. Okay. So we make moves towards you. Why? So if you're this kind of lady who unwraps very meticulously, just like uh, it was wrapped, it gives a sense of a detailed approach to issues. This is a woman who takes her time. Okay. She unwraps it as it was wrapped. Okay. Then you have this kind of different woman who pays no attention to that, unwraps that gift in a hurry, then she takes time, she starts twisting the wrapper, <laughs> and you have got this kind of women. Ladies, concentrate. This gives the impression that sometimes you like things out of the ordinary. Sometimes okay. your head is in the clouds. You forget, you, are, you, you twist it, then you're going to come back to it, uh, start something else. So basically it means that you're out of the ordinary approach. So from a guy's perspective, you, la you like new things. You, you, you're unpredictable. That, that is great for me. So we also have another kind of woman uh, who handles the arapa. She may be meticulous, but this, this time around she might fold it. Okay. She will take time, unfold it, not displace it, perhaps put it in her handbag, mm -hmm. maybe it, uh, dispose it sorry, elsewhere. With this kind of woman, this is also an in-depth woman, mm. almost like the one who leaves things as they are. Okay. Very particular about <coughs> how she does her stuff. Mm -hmm. So, and lastly, we have those that actually, as they unwrap, they crumple the wrapper. They may leave it where they found it, do something else. Mm -hmm. The reason why we have this w uh, kind of woman is her 75% communicates in this way, that she, like, she likes plans. She's a goal-oriented woman. You might even see a sign of aggressiveness. Just look at how this rapper yeah. is crushed. Yeah. So this is a kind of woman who loves goal-oriented. Dudes, you want to approach this kind of lady, have a goal. Know okay. what you want. With the one who falls, you really have to find a unique way to approach this her. This is your camera. This, this is right my camera? Yeah, number two. Okay. You, you approach this woman, <coughs> you really need a unique way to approach her. Twist. You don't have to have things planned out. Just have a goal. The surprise. The more unpredictable you are, the greater it is. And finally, as you leave things as they are, then precisely talks about the detailed approach. That's why you're someone's crush. We'll talk about the dudes later. So you can imagine, Mwikali, all this began at age three yeah so how old you are minus age three it has been raw in you okay that's true so if you're to date the reason why we're having personality dating yeah let me you see need that. sure mm -hmm. and i also have those diagrams there inside mm -hmm. okay and so this is your book it's called personality personality dating, dating. Mm -hmm. in there we also have se seven portions i talk about why you're someone's crush i talk about handling heartbreaks and breakup okay which i'll be talking about that again today because some relationships uh, are fading off because of attitude mm -hmm. ego hidden benefits you need this information before you make a move towards someone oh yes and you act may i also say this that you also need to be away from some relationships because they are draining and shattering your self-esteem. So there's a lot in <laughs> their pact. Okay. All that through the way you handle your I rapper. can see I can see the the crumpling of the papers in here. So we have proper diagrams yes. of uh, what you just described. Yes. And this I think I hope the ladies and so these are things that, like you said, are innate. They're innate. So how I unwrapped my... Because <laughs> I had to be fast. Yes, you had Nisi to be fast. Nisi <laughs> baskari, na sweetie. Yes. So I carried that on. All along, it transferred to your handwriting. It transferred to how you process things. Yes. How you handle information. And also how you want to be treated. And your expectations when it comes to dating. So if I do this to make a move... He needs to have this information. Okay. But I need it fast. Absolutely. <laughs> you need it fast. <laughs> Definitely. So that yeah. you can understand your impact in my life. Mm. If I'm to make a move, if, if this was a relationship, yes. I need you having this information first. Because what that communicates to me, you know what you want. Yeah. And you are able to anticipate my value in your life. The problem is when I make a move and you have this information as a woman yeah. and I don't know how to handle you, I am simply shattering your self-esteem. I will frustrate you. Yeah. We'll have memories, we'll have years, we'll have struggles, and now we are approaching to a very delicate level. Will you break up with me, or you, uh, or we will go through a season of a heartbreak? Oh my goodness. 
So if you want to stick with me, we yeah. will go through a season of a heartbreak. It means you are intentional in dating, but I'm frustrating you. So you're giving me chances. If we are in breakup scenario, you'll have to do away with me because I'm not impacting your value and making you be better. Guys, I don't know if you're paying attention. <laughs> are you paying attention? What personality type are you? Did you know about all of this? Have you figured out what rapper you are? For the ladies who are watching this morning, are you the one that opens up meticulously as it was wrapped? Were you the one who just tweets, twist, twists it out? Do you fold it? Do you just <laughs> and just leave it there? Please text us right now, triple one, triple four, triple one. If you have any questions whatsoever, Mac will definitely be answering your questions. But please share your stories with us. What kind of a girl are you? I have a notebook here and a pen, and I will be put on the test <laughs> and we'll find out what he has to say about my personality in just a bit so do not go too far this is full circle with mukali triple one triple four triple one that is our sms line get texting switch tv ke on instagram switch tv kenya on facebook and i've posted it on instagram as well that is it's mukali mary on twitter and instagram we'll be right back Well, the ladies at the studio, we are having heart to heart here, understanding and sharing how we dispose and unwrap our sweets. And I hope you're doing the same. Please share your stories with us. There are four different ways to do that. But then again, what if you find yourself doing two or three of that? Is it also a thing? Mark? Yes, it is. It is a thing because at times you may find that uh, our personality, we may have two to three personalities. Okay. Depending on our wiring, how we've grown up, our exposed situation, scenarios. So sometimes you may meet someone who unf un unwraps it, then later folds it. That says okay. something about them. Okay. You can see someone who folds, then later twisted. Mm. So all these combinations do happen. But essentially, what they do most than the other. This is normally a primary and a secondary behavior. Okay. Yeah. So the primary behavior may be I unwrap, and the secondary behavior may be I twist. Hence the reason why you need to understand personality dating. Because perhaps when you met them, they unwrapped. You yes. liked that side. You had a crush on that side. You made a move as a dude. And that's what the foundation of the relationship was based upon. Okay. Years down the line, you see another side pop up. She twists. Mm. Hey, I'm not familiar with this side. I think you're changing. Um, now we don't know where the relationship is going. Mm. But all this was part of her or part of him. Okay. Was this clearer enough? Mm. Hence why you need to understand what personality dating is about. So okay. some people do break up because of that alone. Because mm. another side pops up. You're not familiar with the attitude of this side. You're only familiar with this. And that's why I say some relationships fade prematurely. Okay. Because of attitude, the side of this ego, because all along you've been training for this side. Oof. So it's also tough for the gentleman. It's also well. tough for the gentleman. Yeah. And also for women who are self-aware, mm -hmm. may also be exposed to the side of a dude they were not familiar with. Mm. He was like this when he was your boyfriend. Yes. Now that he's your husband and there's the aspect of being a father, mm -hmm. all these stages start changing. Another side starts popping up. We also have other Mwikali, another third side popping up. Okay. Because there are certain stages that bring up other personalities. They need their deep. So the reason of personality dating is having a full exposure of who they are. Okay. Know the attitudes of both personalities, the egos of both personalities, the hidden benefits of both personalities, tame some, leave some, and we call that a relationship. Okay. The, you talked about breakups earlier. Yes, yes. And how <coughs> that, do they also deal differently? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, we've been having one answer fits all, which is something that I've been trying to fight as a personality coach. Okay. And uh, the terminology of all men are the same. Ladies, mm. if you fall under that space, you need to start changing after today's show. Yep. We cannot have one answer fits all. We are talking about four kinds kinds of relationship, four kinds of men, four kinds of women, and also split personality. So this is so broad. If you are to break up with this kind of dude, ladies, who leaves the item as it is, I want you to understand that this is a guy who processes stuff. So you're going to go through silent seasons. He's not going to speak when you want and how you want it. He needs a time frame. 
He needs a time frame because this is someone who is breaking within and will not publicly ap appear and say, this is what I'm going through. This kind of dude, when you break up with him, the next day will be like, everything is fine. Perhaps a new status, moving on, life is cool. You know, this, in fact, you even wonder, are they feeling any pain? You want them to feel pain, but they are not, simply because they have found a coping mechanism. They break privately, never publicly. Publicly is to show you they moved on and life moves on. Mm. It does not mean that they're not going through pain. Okay. We have also this kind of dude who falls. Now, this is meticulous dude. This is a guy who will even stick there for one year, six to eight months, still handling the same issue. You probably even moved on. He will think twice, do it once. He will be persistent. He will call you. He will reach out to you trying to tell you, can we fix this? While you're playing hard to get, he will think twice, do it once, and drop it like it's hot. Finally, we have those that crumble. He will have a framework of how this relationship he will pause, rewind, forward. What really happened? He will process everything before he moves on. Now, keyword, Moikali, breakup or heartbreak. Okay. Breakup means done and dusted. We are not getting back to it. Okay. You asked me about breakup. Yes. Now, if this is a scenario of a heartbreak, mm. then let me let you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you are intentional about dating, you will come across seasons of a heartbreak. Yes. That means they did something you didn't expect. So it will not happen once. The question is, is being pr psychologically prepared to move on when they do it? So, same scenario. Okay. They will fight it. They will not let go. They will still give you a reason on, on why it has to work. That is the guy who unwraps. That is the guy who unwraps. They are detail-oriented. Yes. They want to unwrap it as it was wrapped, so they are detailed. Okay. They will remind you of the memories that got you guys connected. Twists, they will send you gifts. Persistent calls, they will take you out. They might not even say sorry, but they will take you out to say mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. So it's a more of action-oriented sort of apology. Mm. It will never come out straight. It's not like the guy who unwraps it. Okay. He will be like, I'm sorry, Mwikali, I hurt you because of ABCD. Yes. He will use the words you expect. He will not use the words you expect. Mm -hmm. Or she will not even use the words you expect. She will surprise you with gifts as well. And will never come out categorically that they hurt you. But you can see through their action, they say sorry. So, with this kind of scenario as well, you will expect them to be really focused. Sending you some particular memories that will revive you. And eventually they'll have a framework of never to do it again because they are familiar with what happened. Wow. All that through how you handle a rapper. Okay. <laughs> Kuna mtu anasema, na wenye suit you, <laughs> wenye... <laughs> Mina kufio. <laughs> this is new. <laughs> they chew? <laughs> how did they handle the rapper though? Yeah, so because you have to open the rapper first You have to before. open the rapper first before you either chew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So if they are to be more clear on how they handle the rapper, yes. then I'm able to tell them precisely what would you like to know? Why you're someone's crush? How you handle a heartbreak? Mm -hmm. Or even how you volcanically vent? Because we must know your pressure points okay. as women. When we are men approaching you, you must know our pressure points as men as well. We really don't have a thick skin for everything. Mm. Uh, we also want uh, you to reach uh, forward to us and, and get to know what's really happening from within. So that's why this is really exciting because when you know yourself and how you handle your rapper, you're curious now to know what the other person is about yeah. and how the relationship compatibility works. Mm. This is about healing okay. and knowing that information early enough. Well, Ali is 33 for me, guys. Which but is okay. it's fine. It's fine. But just, it's going to be awkward because when you call me out on a date, I'll just be carrying sweets. Now, tell me I'm even a sweetie. I'm just dishing out to everybody and it's like... Mm -hmm. Or a wrapped gift. A wrapped gift. Yes. Oh, yeah, that too. That too as well. It's not just sweets. It's it's any wrapped item. How do and you unwrap hand, hand, And her writing, sorry, as well. Okay. So you can go ahead. Maybe... Oh, uh, no, before we even get there. Yeah. So let's start with how I'm seeing <laughs> your first impression. So, yes. my God, be nice. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond professionalism, because uh, I'll keep it uh, also about personality. Okay. And, and one thing that, um, and I'm sure you know about this, is that you have a personality that really soaks in people to your space. And that is also based on how you sit, how you talk, 
a intonation of words, just your personality. This is what people are getting around from you. People are going to bring you issues muikali. Even some of the things that you feel, am I even wired to handle this, is because they trust your space and how you think through things, how you process through, th through things. So you're likely to carry more than enough, but you have the capacity to handle it. The question is, or if you've been questioning yourself, why are people bringing all these issues to me, even some that are not even in my line of work, is because your personality allows that space. You have the gift to make people protect their worth. And the way you address issues, you're very clear about what you want. You're dynamic as well. So that means there are multiple ways of seeing issues. When someone says, Mwikali, I'm going through this, because they're one, they're blocked by frustration. You have seven points of how they can exit the situation. Praise Jesus. Amen. Well, okay. <laughs> and the gallery is quiet. Lynette, talk to me. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do the handwriting one before we get to the questions. Please send in your questions. Yes. Uh, dating, personality types, if you've been listening through this conversation and you have identified which person you are, yes. what personality you have, triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. It's just going to cost you a shilling. Please indulge us this morning. So, <clears throat> what do we do? Anything. Your name, welcome to Full Circle, anything. Okay, cool. <laughs> does it matter if um, I was taught how to write at a certain point in my life no it doesn't it doesn't because, because at form one I think we were all taught how to how to write and yes sometimes we may also even have similar handwritings yes that's why we have various avenues of getting to know more about, more about you okay so if the handwriting is almost closely similar to someone else mm -hmm. there's the walking style the sitting style how you handle a rapper like we said mm -hmm. so all these are avenues to get to know a wholesome full circle aspect of <laughs> mwikali okay <laughs> i think i'm done okay cool so i hand this to you yes okay awesome so i'm just going to share a general aspect about you yeah. your leadership style your ethic style and what people should expect from Mui, Mui Kali. From just that. From Th just there were just this. three sentences, guys. <laughs> so one key <coughs> thing is people need to know about you is your sensitive aspect. Now, they might see the tough aspect, the tough side of Mui Kali. <laughs> they need to watch their words around you. You mind words and your space a lot. Maybe those who've stuck with you for a long time know this. Those that don't know about this they see that tough side and in tough i mean that you're very objective about how you go about stuff mm -hmm. but beyond that is that you're very sensitive words mean a lot to you and not just any random words particular words you love people keeping their promise you are a really an inner value person you ve verify filtrate people with values it's not how they appear it's not what they say how they talk values you have a very keen eye and observation skills for values. Mm -hmm. Leadership style. You love working with people who owes that kind of confidence. Silence sometimes does not appeal to you. You like it, but it's not what makes things work. You love the same energy distributed around so that, because you are generous, mm -hmm. and that's good because we've never met. You can confirm about this. You're very generous, and that means sometimes you can be so selfless and people forget you. That's why you need people like you around you so that they can feel in what you feel in them. That's your leadership style and work ethic style. And full circle for Mikali. <coughs> <laughs> we are done. <laughs> And we are taking in all your questions. Thank you, Mark, for that. You're welcome. You hit some really true truths thank you in there and i have a small circle of friends who i have moments of silence but they understand so they get it they're just like we know and yes. recently the one thing that has been said constantly about me is that i sort of like i attract people or draw in people i think i was wow. having this conversation with caro my producer and that was said to me by two different people wow. in a very short span of time and i was just like okay I don't know how to do with that. I don't know what to do with that information, but yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> hi, Mukali. This is these are your questions. Focus. We are back here now. Okay. Um, how do I handle a man who was responsible during?
pregnancy and not responsible during the upkeep of the child. He's always giving excuses and a lot of quarrels. I tend to love this man so much. Okay. Uh, perhaps they would have clarified what do they think that kind of man is? Who do you think or, or which category do you think he's, he fits in? Is mm -hmm. it unwrapping? Is it twisting? Is it folding? Or is it crumpling? But basically, we go into some seasons of silence, maybe just because of the nature of the question you asked me, is to explain man cave silence. Sometimes our silence is, is to process our next move in your life. We are growing. We become your boyfriend. There's the fiancé stage. There's the husband. And there's the father. All these stages need me as a man to process and grow in them. My personality is also growing in them. I'm to exercise all this to you. So this man keeps silence sometimes might be the information that is coming in and the sense of responsibility. If I do not have men who really encourage those best parts in me, then I'm likely to go through seasons of silence. It's not an avoidance of responsibility. Perhaps you get him into a conversation and get to know what he's going through. He'll be better. But mm. please do clarify on what category you think he fits in. Okay. Okay. Um, Hi, Mark and, <clears throat> and Mikali. My name is Max. I'm loving this show, but please uh, clarify this for me because from Max's explanation, I feel, stroke, realize I have all those personalities. <laughs> is that even normal? It is normal, Yeah. but it means chances are high. You're very dynamic. Dynamic people feel like they fit in each and every category. So it actually speaks about your dynamism. You like fitting out of the ordinary. You have tried so many things. And that's why, why I picked this is because you'll find, you can even confuse yourself to be, here, to be in this category. But like I said, it's possible to have two to three. Mm. But in most cases, your primary behavior is that you twist things. Mm. You like trying stuff. So you might be sometimes crumpling that wrap and wondering, what happened to me? Yeah. It's because you try so many things. There's a challenge when it comes to personality dating. Simply because your man does not know what to attend to. Okay. You need to be in some spaces where I know what kind of value impact I'll have in your life. Mm. So you're here. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, hmm. Guys, focus. Well, I'm saying that more to me. Is it advisable for me to go back to my heartbreak after two years of relationship? And the thing I'm getting a lot is sometimes we, from the questions, what yes. I understand, mm -hmm. is sometimes we're looking at the other person a lot more than we're looking at ourselves mm -hmm. and what personality type I, I am. Because yes. I might be the personality type that um, I can easily tolerate whatever you bring. Yes. So knowing yes. that, then I need to be aware not to tolerate that and know sure. that this is not good for me. Sure. And let me explain that for, for a couple of minutes, it will sound like a science class. Okay. So um, there's a recent study that was made and they found out that there are special cells in the heart. They call them the specialized neurites. These neurites think, feel, and remember independently from the brain. So in a nutshell, you have a little brain in here that is different from what is in here. What does that mean? There are some personalities that love you only, only sorry, from a logical point of view. Okay. Which means they protect themselves first mm. before you. Okay. Sad to say. Yeah. Then there are those who love you passionately from the heart. Like we said, it's independent. These are the people, they give you all their love at once. You mismanage it, they break equally, deep as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. So having said that, intentionally, both should operate the same. Because you need to propagate the kind of love that you're giving to someone. I'm not saying you make them first or priority before yourself. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying there are just those moments when your kind of love is not working. It does not mean that you have to passionately keep on giving your love. You have to logically look at situations. But the reason why I'm saying this is because chances are high if they logically loved you. It means that you can even confuse between a heartbreak and a breakup. Okay. That long silence of a heartbreak, when both of you keep quiet, you prematurely qualify the relationship to be a breakup. Okay. More time, like you said, two years. Yeah. It's a premature breakup. In other words, it's an intentional heartbreak. Mm, mm, mm. And not a breakup. Okay. 
Okay. So any time there's long silence in a heartbreak, yes, it can qualify to be a breakup. And that's where some relationships are. That's why you'll keep thinking, remembering the person because you didn't move on. That's here. That's here. Yeah. Then you remind yourself that, hey, I think I've got someone or I think uh, it's a breakup, mm -hmm. which you both of you didn't call it like one. It's as being a challenge. Okay. So the main point is it's important to understand whether this is a breakup or a heartbreak. That means, and very few relationships, Moikali, reach to the level of a successful breakup. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So um, we have done a bit of an exercise <laughs> for you. Uh, let me just receive this. Thank you. Um, so my team in the gallery. Okay wrote down the full notes. circle full circle in numbers okay. so you do not know who they are that's good. some of them you haven't even seen them that's but great. maybe if time allows yes you could just pick from them randomly and then you can save the numbers so that they can know i'm sure you guys have written <laughs> you know your numbers okay cool yes so um I do not know, for those who wrote, whether you want to know why you're someone's crush. I don't know if you want to know your personality in general. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm just going to keep it personality, personality in, gener in general. In general. Yes, so okay. I'm just going to pick random numbers. There's full circle number four. Now, people approach you with a lot of patience for number four, full circle number four. It means that they take their time and choose which words they will use towards you. Um, full circle number seven, you're very... Um, you're very intellectual. If people are really to get to know all sides about you, most people actually confuse you to be the silent type. I think you're the person that goes all in. Maybe situations compose you, but uh, naturally you love experimenting stuff. Um, there's also full circle number nine. Chances are high you take your time before you approach things. So if you really want to know about relationship, we can meet after the show. Uh, full circle <laughs> number two. That means is that you space out your things. You don't love being overwhelmed. So if you're in a pressured situation, that is you will act, act outside uh, of your normal character. So if this is normally how people meet you at, just space out yourself. Explain to people how you need things because you like things in order. And finally, full circle number 11, we have a very detailed approach to how you like things very particular someone picks up something please return it where it is otherwise it will be a clash collision uh if okay. i didn't read next oh my god <laughs> they, well they have uh, i think um, tamwana yes. hey it's about even nine or around 10 11 there okay yeah so kuna watu wanataka tuseme zao okay number number three okay. number three yes okay so with number three um you're very gentle with words and it's a matter of approach for you the philosophy is about approach take time compose yourself and approach something one challenge that i have with you is sometimes you may take too long before you do things yourself you have a lot of ideas but actualizing them is the problem postponing is a big deal please let's work on this side you need to do more Number five, I'm sorry. Number five, it's <laughs> cool. Number five, you have this sense of approach that you're very meticulous as well. Number five, if th there are moments when you're very good at mobilizing people. I don't know if people know this side about you. You really know how to bring things together. Please do this for yourself. Please tell me, guys, if like Please he's confirm. right, you can you can shout in my ear. Please yeah. confirm. <laughs> okay, I think I think we are done. Are we done? Yes, we are. Okay, cool. Ha, good morning, Mark and Mikali. I'm Christoph. Na nimeangalia na ona niko karibu kote. Like depends on who gives me the gift. <laughs> Sometimes I'll fold it. Other times I'll straighten it. Other times we just crumple it. Is this even normal? It is. Okay. Uh, precisely, we said that it's possible to have various ways to express yourself mm -hmm. but remember this is the primary behavior this is what you do most yes you may fold you may crumple mm -hmm. uh, you may twist you you may even leave it as it is but this is the primary behavior which means what you do most so in most cases it points out your dynamism but for you in particular based on how you actually put your words together it's about moods you okay. wake up based on how you feel mm. Please confirm that to Mwikali. You wake up on how you feel. If you feel today, I'll fold, you'll fold. So we really need to change that mood sort of timetable 
because at times you can be predict and unpredictable so mm -hmm. unpredictable with how you um, plan out your day so apart from that you're really adaptive okay. person Okay, one final question. I think, I think sure. we have up about like two minutes. Hi, I'm Caroline from Chuka. Mikali, I'm watching you guys. I have a question for our guest today. I'm kind of a person <coughs> who nikiwa ni metulia either na move mgu ama any other part of my body. What type of personality is that? <laughs> so, kama una move mgu, I don't know kama una move mgu wa kekele hivi. Ama una move mgu kikikuwa right angle. There are those who really shake a lot. Yes. Sometimes they may give the impression of nervousness, anxiety, but at some times it is also about containing uh, yourself. Yeah. By the way, self-esteem is connected to exercises. Huh? But also, I didn't know whether una manisha ku stretch out, because there are those who stretch out yes. their legs. <laughs> Probably they fall under this category. Ah. Like I said, ani watu wakime relax, Skilla key to concentration at any problem, quadaro sometimes, homework, you know, assignment, thesis if you're in college. These are sometimes some of the challenges that you're going to get uh, because they love uh, short, you know, shortened everything equal short, short, brief, yes. brief, and straight to the yes. point. So, kaune kanga ivi mgu, it just talks about your concentration span. Please pick some careers that you work early in mm. the mornings mm. and not late in the afternoons because that goes with how you're wired. Kaune kanga hivi migu pamoja, it means that you have some level of tolerance. If you also nae kanga hivi, it means that you have some level of composure. You take time as you process stuff. Okay. So, give us your manual then. Oh my <laughs> God, Mark, you're really good. Thank you. You really are, and I'd like to have this conversation again with oh, you. Oh wow, thank um, you. Um, how can people get in touch with you directly? How can they get the book? Yes, personal dating, Mark Mbugwa. All right, through any of my social media platforms because I'm actually doing it uh, through uh, the social media platforms. That's Mark Mbugwa in Facebook, Mark underscore Mbugwa in Instagram. Uh, you can also find me in Twitter, that is uh, at Gifted Purpose, and also on my new uh, YouTube channel, Rakubogwa. Okay, thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate my colleagues, and honor to have you. This was mind blowing. Thank you. Gallery is quiet. They are all. Shh. Menyama za membo mokweli. Mina jua yako. Na jua yako. I think I picked out yours. That's my director. But uh, you can see Mac separately after the show. We're taking a very short commercial break. When we come back, we have skin enthusiast in the building. We're going to, talk about, we're going to be talking about hyperpigmentation. So sending all your questions about that as well. This is Full Circle with Mikal. <laughs>